Another player that we all come across is what we call the runner. But he just or she just keeps on getting the ball back to try and frustrate you. So how do you play a runner? One of the main things is that if, if, you, if you're in the rally and you play a good shot and the runner gets that ball back and you're thinking, oh, he's got that back. And then you go into the rally a bit more and he gets another one back when you got short. And after three times, you're thinking, oh my word, he's get, that person's just getting the ball back all the time. Is that don't get frustrated. Every time he gets the ball back where you think he might not, is go back to the beginning of the rally again. Because what he's wanting you to do is actually think, oh, he's got the ball back three times more than I like, so I'll go for a silly shot. That is what the runner is trying to get you to do. So what you're looking for when you play a runner is to let the person, as the description describes, run. So you put the ball in the back corner, you get them running from the back, to the front, to the front, to the back, and you systematically are just letting that person run around the court. And it doesn't matter how fit someone is, after literally half an hour's play, they're going to get tired. So you've not got to make silly errors, you've not got to get frustrated and let the person you're playing run. And I think you don't want to make your mistakes, you don't want to make your errors, and don't go for a low margin when you go short. Go for four or five inches, and like I said, let that person run. And that's the only way you can play a runner. And it can be frustrating. But to me, the good squash player, who knows how to play the game of squash properly, always outdoes the runner.